Hey guys, I'm back with some transportation. In this web video, I've planned and drawn the route of an extension to the Washington Metro's Orange Line. Now the Orange Line is one of the key transportation modes to access the western region of the Washington DC Metro area. And believe it or not, the Washington DC Metro is the second most used mass transit system in all of America after New York City's subway system. This is because a metro, in this case, actually serves a good purpose of connecting jobs and people when compared to standard highways and it runs at a higher speed than most other metro systems, yet has the same high frequency of metro systems across the country and world for that matter. Now last year, in July of 2014, the Silver Line opened, which is this route right here. And this has somewhat spurred ridership away from the Silver, from the Orange Line, even though that wasn't its original purpose. But looking at it, I thought the Orange Line still has life, let's bring it back. And how I did it? I did a Western extension from the Vienna Station to the Centerville Station with two stations in between which I'll be getting to in this video. So let's start at the Vienna station, which is currently the last stop of the Orange Line. As you can see, there is a lot of apartments nearby, which indicates high density, and therefore lots of people from this area use this station as their starting point to work, especially in the Arlington area. Now this line, I planned it to continue west along the median of Interstate 66 and eventually 66 does come together but a simple way is just to widen this road. I do believe that there's enough space to widen this couple meters on either side thus allowing room for a metro line to go in the middle. There are no stops for two miles which is good for high speed and eventually it reaches Fairfax which is right here. Now, yes, it is slightly west to the actual location of Fairfax, but I believe this location is going to be more crucial as there's a business park nearby as well as universities and higher density housing. Metros like higher density. They do not want to be placed in a place with low density and with a lot of people working here as well as living here within probably even walking distance to the station, which I think should be located up here. I think it's the best place for Fairfax station to go. Now for the station, for each station actually, I think it would be a similar design to the current stations and those on the orange line. Build a station in the median and connect it to parking lots on the outside via a pedestrian bridge. Now the parking lot would probably be located right here. The next station, oh yeah, by the way, I was thinking of another extension to Chantilly, which is northwest. However, I chose not to do this for two reasons. One, the only real development is at Chantilly, and two, it's quite close to the Silver Line as well. So the orange, the value of this line would not be as high. Therefore, I kept the alignment on Interstate 66. The next stop is not that far away. It is in the Fair Lake section of Fairfax. Right here would be where the station is. Again, another location. There's a mall right here. There's a lot of high density housing, some businesses nearby, even some towers here too. So this would be an excellent location for a future metro station. And I do anticipate a lot of people using it. Finally, the line continues along and it stops in Centerville where similar situation, lots of apartments and a business complex. Much of this is also newer development, which is probably why the line was ended in Vienna back in the 1980s when it was built. Now I was originally planning this line to go all the way to Manassas, but I don't think this line is ready for that yet as it would have to cut through all of this property and zoning area here, which would either require a tunnel or costly demolition to many houses in the area. In addition, Manassas is not really that far from Centerville in the first place. It's only a five-minute drive, 
So I don't think it's worth making the last stretch to the bull run and Manassas area. Maybe in the future that could be a possibility as the Washington DC metro area is the fastest growing East Coast city. But for now, I think Centerville is the last place. Now let's get to the real part. Why? Why do we have to do this? It has been a long time since the 1980s when the Orange Line was originally opened to Vienna. During that time, an explosion of growth, especially in the early 2000s, has taken place west of Vienna and Fairfax and has increased the amount of people using Interstate 66 a much higher. There's routinely traffic on both directions every single day, mainly for people trying to get to the business parks in McLean, Tyson's Corner, and Arlington. I believe that a line here will more directly connect these people to their jobs, which likely don't even have much parking space in the first place, so they can get a parking space right at their home station, save some money, fuel, and the environment, take the train to their job. Unlike most of my proposals, this is actually a fully new segment, but the fact that they were able to build the silver line, which is even more demanding, can prove that they can build the orange line extension, which is basically just continuing the line along the median of Interstate 66. This will join with the existing orange line into the DC area. The top speed for trains will be 75 miles per hour, which will allow quick travel times between Centerville and further east. In fact, Centerville and Vienna, which is a distance of about seven miles, will only take eight minutes by this system. Would you ride this? Do you think such a system would be built? Or would you rather stay in Interstate 66 with a lot of traffic? It's your call, but this is my proposal. Thank you for your time and attention, and I hope you will see my other videos. Goodbye.